Okay, thanks guys. You'll have to ignore my dog. She here we have we're having deliveries in the neighborhood. Let's see if she'll stop. Rosie. Rosie, it's okay, sweetie. It's okay. It's all right. Okay. FedEx guy is getting ready to leave. He's heading down the road. She'll stop here in a minute. Guys, if you're on, say hello as you hop on. Let me know who's on here with me. Okay, I think we're good. Maybe. FedEx guy's just around the corner. Okay, awesome. So guys, welcome. Thanks for joining me. It has been two weeks since I have been with you. I hope that everybody had an awesome Thanksgiving. Enjoy time with your family. And um, guys, I have some uh, a fun project to share with you today. And if you are not able to uh, stay on for the whole live, come back, watch the replay, and, uh, and hop to the end because I got a really cool ordering promotion that I think you're going to love. So guys, I'm going to turn my camera down and we're going to get started. Okay, hopefully everybody can hear me and see me. Hi, Kim. Hey, Denise. Thanks, friends, for joining me. I am so glad that you're here with me. Um, I hope that y'all had a really great Thanksgiving. Before we get started, I want to uh, share with you that I have already pre-selected a winner from the share for the project I did two weeks ago. It is actually Susan. Susan, I am going to so butcher your last name, Rasmussen. Um, I sorry if I said that wrong. I will get this card in the mail to you. Thank you so much for sharing. Guys, I'm just going to straighten my camera real quick here. Looks like I'm a little crooked. Hopefully that's better. All right. So, so Susan, thank you so much for sharing. Anytime you want to share, just hit that share button and let me know that you shared. Actually type in the comments that you shared so that I can enter your name into a drawing to receive the project that I do for that week. So guys, we're going to make I've been telling you we're going to do holiday projects, right? So actually, we're going to make, may not look like a holiday project, but it actually is because I love making this every year and it's perfect to give like as a cute stocking stuffer or something for like a coworker or a friend. It's a perfect little thing to put on their desk. So I make these every year. It's one of my favorite things to, to, um, to make. And you can do all kinds of different designs. So it is an easel calendar. And basically it takes a just a regular card base. You decorate it up, put a calendar on it. And then we make a little easel inside so that it can set up on your desk. And I love making these. They don't take up a lot of room. They're just off to the side and they're perfect to have around. So I'm going to show you how to make this. Now, if you um, don't worry about memorizing the directions or the measurements, I have them here on my blog. You can print out the project sheet. All my measurements are listed here. So as I said, we are going to, we're, um, we're going to start off with a basic card base that measures four and a quarter by 11 inches. I have scored it in half at five and a half inches. And so we're just gonna burnish that in half. And then we're gonna just start adding on our layers. Now I will tell you we are using today the Daisy Lane stamp set and the large Daisy Punch. Um, this is actually, this came out probably um, a year ago, maybe, I think, at the, I think last year. And it is actually just a good basic just those foundation stamp sets and punches that I think is just awesome to have in your craft room. So we're going to take a piece of the des uh, designer series paper. This is from the flowers for every season. And this piece measures two and a half by four inches. And I'm just going to adhere that to the top of my card here. Make sure I have it now. I want to make sure your fold's at the top. All right, so we're just going to put that on top. And then what I'm going to do is I have already cut out a scalloped rectangle, and I'm going to take my stamp, The Best Moments in My Life Happen With You. I'm going to, That came from the Daisy Lane stamp set. I'm going to just stamp that in Misty Moonlight ink. I'm going to stamp it off to the right, though, because I want to be able to have enough room for my daisy here in a moment. So I'm gonna stamp that, and then I'm just gonna glue that on. And again, I kinda wanna have my sentiment off to the right, because I need to have plenty of room to place my daisy here in a minute. 
So next thing, I'm gonna take the punch. I'm just gonna unlock it. And then I'm gonna punch two daisies. Now what I like to do is I like to give my daisies a little dimension, so I'll take my bone folder and I will just gently curl each of these flower petals. Do the other one. All right, you don't wanna to be too rough when you're doing, using the bone folder because you don't wanna tear your petals. And then I'm just gonna put a little glue inside. And then what I like to do is I like to take and just kind of have them alternate to where they interlock. That way I know they're properly spaced and it gives it a really fun dimension to it. So we're gonna take that and then I'm just gonna glue this onto my card. Just kind of offset it a little bit and I'm gonna hold it. And then what I did is I die cut out a small heart from the Stitch to Be Mine dies in the Misty Moonlight and I'm just gonna pop that up with a dimensional and put that in the center of my daisy. Because I'm telling every flower needs a center. And I just thought this would make a really cute and fun center. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue on my mini calendar. Now I do get these from Tailored Expressions and on the uh, project sheet I do have the link to Tailored Expressions. And all you do is, is you just take off that little cover and then there's your calendar. So I'm gonna put this on and you want to use tear tape or multi-purpose liquid glue so that that calendar stays on there all year long. Let's put that at the bottom. And then while that's drying, I'm just going to add my little linen bow. And I did a double bow here. And I'm just going to put that on with a glue dot. And then we're going to just stabilize, make our easel part. And then I'm gonna show you some other calendars that I made using this concept. So what I did is I took a piece of the Misty Moonlight cardstock. I met its measures four by four inches. I scored it at half an inch, two inches, and let me look at this, three and a half inches. I had to look at my cheat sheet here, make sure I had that. So half an inch, two inch, three and a half inches. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hill and valley fold. So I'm gonna do my middle fold at the two inches first, and then I'm gonna go the opposite way at my half inch score lines. So that it kind of makes a funny looking W, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some adhesive. Guys, it looks like I may have cut my piece wrong, or I scored it wrong, but that is okay, it will still work. That happens sometimes, so I'll just have to adapt that and adjust for it. Okay, so we're gonna just adhere that on the inside, and then, you know what, I'm gonna have to make an adjustment here. There we go, I'm just gonna have to go do the opposite way. Sometimes that happens, make mistakes, but we can fix them. And then, let's see, oh, I'm gonna make this work. Nope, I think I'm just going to have to cut it off, guys. Man, I really messed that one up today. Let me see what we can do to fix this. I guess I didn't double check my measurements. All right. Get my scoreboard out. Let's see what I need. Just do a little bit here. There we go. Thanks for hanging with me, guys. Mistakes do happen in crafting, right? But we fix them and we move on. All right, now that should work pretty well. It's gonna be on the inside, nobody will see it anyway. All right, so I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna adhere that to the inside. And then our usual calendar, see? Can't hardly tell, awesome. Okay, so let me show you the other ones that I made. I made this one using the Trimming the Town Designer Series paper. Thought that was really cute. And then this one uses the Pamper Pets. And then this one's kind of a sneak peek. This is a product that has uh, that's coming out in the mini catalog in January. That's the uh, Dragonfly 
uh, bundle. So that's something to, to look forward to. So guys, that is what I have to share with you today. I, um, if you would like to share this video, like I said, click that button share and let me know that you shared and I will enter you into the drawing to win this week's project. I promise you, I will send you a good one. I won't send you the one that I messed up. I promise I'll send you my good sample. Okay. So anyway, guys, let me tell you what's coming up this month. I have my December Stamp Club. This is uh, locally, it's December 10th from 5.30 to 8.30 p.m. Uh, or you can get it to go. If you would like it shipped, you can uh, have it shipped. It is $20 and it will make four, uh, it'll make a gift tower of four boxes and it includes some uh, tags, hand sanitizer holder, and a thing with a uh, little uh, disposable mask. It is $20 for the kit. Or if you would like to get the project kit free, it is $25 in my online store. If you would like the kit to go, either way, it is $5 postage to pay for the shipping. And the registration link is on uh, there on my blog. Also, too, I have a few spots left for this month's Stampin' Bunko. The registration is ending on Saturday. Actually, the registration for both of these is ending Saturday. And we're going to make two projects. And I want to show you the projects because they are so cute. Now, y'all saw me make this little uh, apron treat bag the other week. So I thought it would be fun to make it for the Bunko. But we're also, too, is we're going to make this Z-Fold card. So that's going to be the projects for the December Bunko. And we'll play 12 rounds of Bunko for Stampin' Up! prizes. So that is $20. And like I said, it includes the Bunko games and the two projects that are mailed to you. And guys, I want, I'm so excited to share this with you. Okay. So, I am doing a 25 days of Christmas. And this is my really fun advent calendar that's in the holiday catalog. And for every $25 you place in my online store, I'm gonna put your name in a box. So if you spend $50, you'll get two boxes filled and so on. Once I fill all 25 boxes, I'm gonna draw for five prizes. And the prizes are gonna range from embellishments, stamp sets, and even bundles. You can get that, you can get an entry into this giveaway by uh, placing an order in my online store, but you need to make sure that you use the host code that is listed right here, the CMD3DA46. It's also listed on my blog. So you need to make sure you use that host code so that I know that you're entering the drawing. Also too, with any size order that you place, I am gonna mail you a handmade easel calendar. Just um, So just all you gotta do is use this host code that will let me know that you want that calendar, doesn't matter what size your order is, and I will send you a calendar. It does need to be for uh, United States addresses though, okay, because I'm not gonna be able to ship outside the United States. So guys, that's what I had to share with you today. I hope you enjoyed this project. Thanks for hanging there with me while I figured out my little easel um, blooper there. And guys, I will see you next Thursday. I hope that you'll have a wonderful weekend and take care. Bye-bye guys.